Hey guys, um, look, I am in uh, my closet <laughs> right now, and look, I, it's, in, it's in the dark. I, uh, I don't want anybody to really see, but if you're scared right now, I want you to know, come close. It's okay. Jesus has us. The Holy Spirit has us. Everything is okay. Everything's going according to His plan. It's not ours. It's His. Okay? And He is coming back. He is coming. Jesus is coming, and we are not to be scared of this new order. We are not to be scared of this new time. We are not to be scared of the press being kicked out. We are not to be scared of this new control. We are not to be scared in America of these changes. We are to keep our eyes focused on our King, regardless of our race, regardless of our religion. Keep your eyes focused on God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. All parts of you. All three parts of you. Every inch, okay? Every inch of you. Focused on God. And love your neighbor. My friends, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as you do yourself. You need to love yourselves. Don't hate yourselves. Love yourself and then love your neighbor as you do yourself. Love Jesus. Focus on him. And if you find yourself getting weary, call out to the Holy Spirit and he will replenish you. For in the book of John, he says that he will pour out his spirit among the people and he will find continuous replenishment. It will be continuous. It will be without limit. We can keep asking if we are among his people. And if you are a Christian and if you find yourself counted among his people, then you are within that. But if you are not, and you want to be, then here's how you do it. Okay, listen carefully. You take yourself, and you must believe this with everything that you have. You must believe and confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Christ, that he is the Son of the living God, the King of all kings, the Lord of Lords, and that He died on the cross for your sins. And that He rose from the dead three days later. That God sent Him. You must believe that. Be willing to have a relationship with Him that starts now. If you believe that, with everything that you have, you want to believe that, and you want to start that relationship, then you'll continue on, and you want to start this prayer with me. You, if, you, if you need to, you can pray this prayer with me. If not, it's fine. If you want to say your own words, that's good too. In fact, I encourage that to come from your heart, to mean it with your own heart, your own prayer. And say, God, I'm sorry for all that I've done. I thank you for all that you've given me, for all of your grace, for all of your allowance, for everything. I'm sorry, God, for all of the sins that I have committed. 
I'm sorry for every mistake, for all of the sins, all of the times I have gone against you. I ask that you would cover me in the blood, and I accept your invitation to be one of yours. I accept your gift to be one of your children. I accept it. I accept yours. I accept you into my heart. And I pray, God, that you would transform me from this moment on. That you would cover me in your blood and you would transform me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet in my spirit, in my body, and in my physical soul. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer and you have been saved, that's awesome. That's fantastic. If you feel that's that's wonderful and I love you for that I'm going to see you in heaven if you have and I believe that if you didn't then that's great too and if you made it to this far I still love you either way okay but just know no matter what I love you stay in peace my friends stay here no matter what okay these times are only going to get worse. Stay focused. And with due diligence, okay, you pay off dividends in the end. Do your due diligence. Pay off dividends. I love you all. <laughs>